So it's time for a little update on my build. I've done a lot of aviation related content over the last six months, but no building videos. Well, I am back building my Sling TSI. I am in my new to me hangar, which still has a lot to be desired. It's a work in progress. It's still a disaster, but I'm making progress. So I have my crates of all my build materials here still waiting to be unboxed and put on my big parts wall. Um, I have a dry erase board. I have just my normal tools. I've started insulating the hanger, the walls. I have an air conditioner, it's a little wonky, but I do not have a heater currently. So I'm probably gonna put a mini split in sometime later in the year. Um, these are some old kitchen cabinets that I rescued from the house that I've been renovating, which is why I haven't been building my plane because I've been renovating a 1986 original house that was in desperate need of a complete redo. So I had prepped all the parts for the wing prior to packing it up six, seven months ago. So I was able to put all this together in two days and get it all riveted. I still have a few little things to do, but I'm ready to start uh, with the skins, the bottom skin today. Uh, again, uh, some of you may have seen my insulate the garage video. Um, the hanger was uh, peeling insulation off the hanger door. This just makes it look a little better. I put a bunch of weather stripping in and uh, got so that the air doesn't just flow freely through it anymore. Uh, that's my trash pile, some trim I still have to install on my kitchen cabinets in the house. And then I have a little office set up over here. Um, I bought a new printer. I, uh, my manuals were way out of date and, uh, because they were printed a year ago and, uh, I was pulling it up on my Mac, but I was doing a lot of running back and forth, looking at pictures. So I decided to reprint them. But unfortunately, my old printer decided it didn't like sitting for six months and I couldn't get it to print and it's 10 years old anyway. So I did a slight upgrade. This was a clearance last year's model, I guess, $200 uh, from Office Depot, but it prints uh, 11 by 17 paper. So I reprinted um, the wing uh, instructions on 11 by 17 so I'd have a new copy so I, I priced it at Office Depot and a bunch of other places to just print it for me. And they want anywhere from 80 cents to $1.20 per copy. And obviously those books are, the wing is like 70 pages long. So I decided I'd just go ahead and buy a new printer. I needed one anyway. So uh, the rest of my hanger, uh, again, that's a, that's a parts board, my crates that I'm still unloading. I have a mobile parts board that I had from my last garage where I had a lot less space. Um, I have a refrigerator over there in the corner. And then I have my movable parts board. Up here I have the tanks for doing some alodyning. Um, I'll be starting on the other wing and um, doing alodyning for the uh, all the rib parts. So that's pretty much it. Uh, back to building. I'll... Uh, start dropping regular build videos uh, here shortly. I will have to say probably the hardest thing um, was was these little burgers right here. <laughs> the, um, trying to get the rivet gun in there to do those was uh, kind of a challenge and I think I used every tool I own to try to make it work. So uh, I have a, uh, a special tool that bends rivets slightly so you can you can hit them at an angle. I was using my my right angle drill uh, and a lot of patience. I used my hand riveter, my my Stanley Pro Set XT2, which barely will pull these uh, these big rivets here. Um, so those were a bit of a challenge. And then uh, countersinking these was not difficult, but it was stressful getting me started because trying to get my little tool set to get just what I thought was the right depth, which is really hard to measure, um, for me anyway, uh, with the tools I had. Um, 
but I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, but uh, I did a lot of uh, test countersinking on some scrap material to make me happy before I started tearing into my, I'm sure it's in a very ex expensive part if I had messed it up. So anyway, that's the wing. And uh, I'll be working on the skins today. I'm going to prime the bottom skin and the some other skin. I'm going to pull out the skins and uh, prime it with my good aviation grade Axo Noble uh, primer. So that'll be today's project. But that's it. Quick update. Hope everyone's doing well and have a nice day.